Okay, can everybody hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Uh, man, there is a, just a ridiculous amount of things today. Uh, and they all kind of look the same. Uh, Gimo, I know I didn't look at that one. This market is so bullish and there is a lot of things that are gapping down. This is just one of those weird, weird days where, ooh, where we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to have a couple things up at the same time. Uh, there's not one thing that screams above all the rest. Uh, this, I did not rate. No, I don't have time either. Just look at it here. I just can't believe how many things there are. No, I, I didn't even rate it. I didn't even rate it. Um, let's just go with the things I worked on. GoPro probably works. It doesn't have a big target. Faye, I am not crazy about. Um, I'm not going to watch this one. Deck, I also am not crazy about either, but very well could work. And HBI, I do like. I do like. I do like and has the volume. And so I think we watch. We got we to watch more than one thing. I'm just going to be honest with you. A lot of these look almost exactly the same or rate the same. And they're not all going to work. I'm just telling you they're not all going to work. One of these things, at least, is going to probably open a reverse swoosh, uh, mainly because of the market. What the hell is this? This data takes forever. I know, they all look the same. Isn't it weird? How long is this taking to load? Yeah, man, look at the market. Yeah, so I, I think we make we make a new high today, but it's not going to be because of Amazon. We can talk about Amazon when we're done. Um, this I'm sure this is probably going to end up doing something crazy today. I I I think I'm going to watch HBI is my main one. This is my main one today. Then I'm going to have. Deck. Let me just decide. HBI is my main one. Let me just decide between. We're going to watch two things. We're not going to watch more than two. Let's watch HBI and Deck. If for some reason neither one of these sets up, then I'll flip to something else. But I'm telling you right now, it's going to be one quick trade for me today because I think the market makes a new high. Wow, look at this all of a sudden now. Look at the spread. Okay, pay attention here today, people. Not that you normally shouldn't, but I'm just telling you. HBI is the main one. Duck is in the middle. You can watch Fay. You can watch GoPro if you have it. You can watch Gimo. I did not rate that. Please keep in mind the market is bullish. We'll review the market when we're done, Amazon when we're done, and anything else you want to talk about. It's been a good week. spread is going to be on this now. Let's just see. Yeah, HBI. This doesn't move a million miles, though. I've got to be honest with you. A dollar would be a big move for this. HBI, I'm talking about. I just don't know what this spread is going to be. I don't. 
under the open here. Let's see. It does have the volume. Okay. Okay, let's see what this does. There's deck. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna work, but it's very spready. Let's just see if it holds. And this didn't do anything yet. And I don't have an entry yet, so don't jump the gun. So stop is, uh, oh, this just hit, and I didn't even do it or call it. Stop is, if you wanna do this here, 2015, I'm gonna wait. I'm going to wait because it just broke and I didn't do it. Here, I'm moving deck off. That was weird. Twenty fifteen. If you did it, I'm going to wait for a secondary entry. It broke and I didn't even call the entry, but you could do it here at 80. I'm going to see if it breaks a second time. If you do want to do it here, you can stop 2015. I didn't. Let's do 75 by 2015. 75 by 2015 for the confirmation. You could already be in it though. I didn't even call the number, it just broke. Oh, there, it did it again. Crap. No, oh, it just hit too fast. Did anybody get it? Here, it's going. Gosh darn it. There, is anybody in it? I don't believe I didn't get it. Oh my goodness, here it goes. There it goes. I didn't get it. Uh, gosh darn it. It's going right to 19. It's there right now. I, I didn't get it. Did anybody get it? Near Bob got it. You got to get out. Get out. Take it. This just went right to the target. I think we're going to get another entry. Just hold on and let me see if it swooshed. It did. It did. Stay with it. Stay with it. I mean, I mean, if you got it, take it out. Don't give up on the trade. We're going to take it. I can't believe that just opened and switched just like everything else did this week. You've got to be kidding me. We're not giving up on it. We're going to take an entry. It's going to set up again. I know it will. I can't believe that, though. Here. I. <gasps> if I had done that, though, I'd be right out. Oh, my God. Cayman dude got it. Okay, two people got it. Good for you, but be out. All right, let's get a normal entry. That was insane. <sighs> Am I, is, is there something wrong with my eyesight this week? I mean, did that just fall off a planet? I mean, did I breathe and then it fell? I, this is crazy. Here. <laughs> I just dropped a dollar out of the sky. <laughs> Yes, I'm snorting because it's absolutely hilarious that this thing just fell a million miles. All right, let's pay attention. Focus. If you're in it, I would have been out. Now let's try to find a way to get in it. We're still going to do 2015 unless it gives us a different stop. I have no idea. This could be 50 cents or more now. Let's just wait and see. I'm staying with it. I'm staying with it because of the way that it broke. But if you, ha if you did do it, if you did get it, which some of you did, that was a great trade. Man, oh man, are these things wanting to dump into the open like nobody's business. What did deck do? Nope, deck didn't set up. What did G-Paro do? Nope, this didn't do anything either. What did Faye do? Oops, hold on. Oh, shoot. Faye set up. Faye set up, you could be in it, stop 1120. I'm going to stay with the HBI. You could be in Faye. Yeah, let me just look at that. You could be in Faye.
Let's do 55 by 95. 55 by 95. It's a big stop. 55 by 95. Here, take it. Get it right now. Get the stop in. This is it. You got to be in it. Be in it. Be in it. 95. 10 cents over the high. That's it. Don't give it 2015. This is it. It's got to go again right in here. You can still do it. You can still do it. Actually, let's give it 2002. Let's give it 2002. 2002. 2002. It's a little bit bigger stop than planted. I don't think it's going to matter. I think it goes and breaks 19. Here, 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 here. If you did this trade, though, this was the fast money. Here, this is going to go. It's going to break the low. It didn't hit 19 yet. Here, this is it. Pay attention. Man, this is moving so fast. I can't even believe how fast it's moving. It's almost like you didn't even have time to put the stop in. But here it goes. It's going. We're just going to get out of it once it breaks. You had to get it. Here, you can take it here now. Here, here. No, 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 no. Don't take it. It's too long. It's too late. It's going. Everyone should be in it. Journey Woman looks like didn't get it. 1902. I did not have any numbers written down past 19. I'm going to give this one shot to break 19. If it doesn't, I'm just going to take it. I could have done this twice. Did anybody do it twice? Okay, if you didn't do it and it backs up again, you can you can do it. This is this is this is not gonna go anywhere but continue down. So I'm still in it. I didn't get out of any. If you didn't do it, you could do it. It's gonna be a bigger stop unless you want to wait and see where it lands. Stops 2005. It bounced at 1902, but I still think it keeps going. At least I hope so. I guess we're gonna find out. I think it does. This is this is this looks very, 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 very similar to PBI, except for PBI was better, but this looks very similar. Here, HBI. HBI. Wow, what a great week. Obi-Wan Kenobi, how much are you up? I didn't react fast enough the first time, but I did the second time. Here we go, HBI. You could do Faye. I don't know where that's at right now. I'll look at it when we're done. Okay, that didn't get down there. Okay, if you did not get this, you can get this if this backs up. Although I really wanted this to keep going. 936. Let's see something here. Yeah, market's gonna make another new high today. This is unbelievable, people. Incredible. Here, Faye. If you didn't do HBI, you can do Faye. It looks good. 1120 is the stop, it's working. 1050 is the target. Faye. Faye, and now we have to be a smidgen baby, a little more patient for one more break of this through the low, and I'm taking it out. I certainly hope it does that. This is a big bounce, so. Faye looks good. Let me just look at the size of this bar. A dollar ten-ish. Less than a buck. Okay. I'll look at deck when we're done. Shoot, that first one was good though. Uh, we're getting this, but the first one was really fast. Up a thousand dollars and did it with put sentry. Wasn't a second call option. Didn't open up right at the first call. Rumi, you've just made all the money for the class. You haven't even done it yet. <laughs> oh, you people are hilarious. Yep, yes you did, between two days. That's a success story. That's what I wanna hear. If you have to get out quickly, do you use a market order? No, everything I do, I use hotkeys. 
but I don't think it matters. In something like this, it might, because why? This happened very, very quickly. In the case that we're doing here, here, wait, you can put an order out just to fill you a 19. It's probably gonna go down there. Or you can put it in 1910. Just put it out if you're, if you're, if you're concerned about it bouncing, and, but do it quick. Let's look at this. This is fine. You're writing the intro, the intro to your, to your testimonial. <laughs> Rumi, you're hilarious. We'll go over that when we're done, discipline dude. Which hopefully will be in exactly one minute and five seconds. <laughs> Which will hopefully be in five seconds or three seconds or two seconds. Here, this looks great. This looks amazing. You want to be really, 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 really tight? You could lower the stop. I'm not going to because I always jinx myself when I do that. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Oh gosh, there was so much to look at today too. And we picked the right one again. Yay. Sometimes it's more challenging when there's too many things to look at and they all look the same. We'll definitely go over them because they all look the same. And I did tell you that they're not all gonna work. Here, HBI. Did anyone do the Faye? Faye traded more normal, did go down and broke the low. Again, this doesn't move a million miles either, being realistic with the target. I didn't, I didn't actually figure any targets. Did anyone do that? If you did, it was a baby, a baby move. Then this worked, this worked. Some of you could do it, some of you couldn't. Did anyone do the GoPro? I didn't call anything else for the numbers, but it worked, I, I rated it, I put it in the room. Did anyone do GoPro? GoPro set up lovely. Uh, 11.20 for Faye. And this thing has to break under 15, which it did not yet. Cheap, you could do the Faye. You could do the GoPro. I didn't I didn't really want to do something that I didn't think had any target in it today. So I was trying to focus on things that I thought would move. Here, HBI. Pyros and Faye. I John did Faye or HBI or GoPro. Well, that's another stock that looks like it's going to zero. That's why I said a lot of people couldn't get it short. Here, HBI. HBI. All right, this is it. Boom or bust. It's got a break now. Let me just see the high of this bar. 63. stop it really should not go over this bar I'm gonna lower my stop uh, this is just because it it's not going back down around again and I I am gonna be a little conservative because it actually has been a good week let's put the stop Let's put the stop at 75. I'm moving it down. You can do whatever you want. You can keep it at 2005 or 95 if you want. I just moved it to 75. 
I hope this holds. It didn't go down and break the low. And I didn't get out of any of it. Wow. Time of the day is 9.45. Jeez. Did anyone get out of this down in here? It moves so fast. I'm not saying it's not going to go back down, but I want it to go right now. Did anyone get out of it down there? That bounced so quick. And I looked like it was going to break 19. It really looked like it was going to break 19. Chinchilla got out. At that low, you got out there when that tail, you actually hit out? I still think this goes, but 945. All right, let's go over it because there's nothing else I'm going to do, and I just chose to lower the stop. So this one in here, it broke, and I didn't even have time to call it. I said you could take it if you want. I didn't get it. I called the stop. Some people did it. They just did it in the wind, and it worked, and it dropped. If I had done it, I would have gotten out, and I told you people to get out. It was an amazing move. Then I said we got to find a way in this. So this did this thing here. We took it. We got in. It dropped. It went right down again to actually the target, $19, and I didn't get out. I didn't think I needed to. This looked good. This looked good. This looked good. This looked good. But I know the market's bullish. The market is making new highs. Yeah, the later it gets, the later it gets, the later it gets, the less I want to give it here. So I decided to lower the stop basically here, but this bar closed here. I still don't think this should go over this area of resistance. So I have a stop at 75. It's going to be more than 50% retracement over the bounce. I'm not going to lose a whole amount on this if this fails, but I was up. And I could have done the fay. I had time. Let's find out. Well, you could get out here with profit. Yeah, you could. I mean, I could. But that's, you know, not what I wanted. I wanted this down here. This moved extremely fast today. The first move and then the second move as well. Mm-hmm. All right, who moved the stop with me? Who has it at the same place? Just right in the room where you got the stop so I know where everybody's at. Some people are out. Some people do the first one and didn't do the second one. Some people did an option. 75, I have it at 75. Everybody moved it, all right. Because here, let's just go over this because there's, there's nothing I can do. And I'm not going to lose a full amount if it, if it, if it, if it doesn't work, but I'm, I'm going to be annoyed. Uh, this thing here, actually, this is starting to look better. Here we go. Um, the, the level from the top, let's just call it 20 bucks, but it's 19.99 to the move down in here is a buck. Even at 1975, sorry about the drilling people. Even at 1975 here, that would be, I mean, that's way more than 50% retracement. It's like, it's 75% retracement actually because it dropped a buck. Look, it's 75 cents, yeah. So, I mean, I'm giving this a large, large cushion even to give it that. We're still, we're still, we're still positive in it though. I mean, you could even retake this here and put the stop at 75. You could if you want. It's 
gonna need the five minute. It's gonna need the five minutes, gonna need the two minute, it may need the 15 minutes, and now we're gonna be in a longer. The benefit of getting out of trains early, fast, into those first couple of minutes moves is the benefit that you're in it and you're out and you've got the money booked. Sometimes you get a bigger second move, but you have to be patient and you have to wait. Usually they give a second entry. Here we go, HBI, it's working. It's working and it held 75. Good job everybody was staying in it. But anyways, the, the benefit of holding is sometimes you get a bigger move, but the problem is that it, it backs up. You could be up and then you're not up as much, or sometimes you could be up and then you could be down as it backs up. That's the negative of waiting for the secondary move. If this goes down to the low, it will break 19. I wish I had gotten out of it there, but I wasn't fast enough. Man, that drilling is so loud. It really just looks like short covering. It's just a small little tiny rally. It just has to go back down. Let's see. No, I don't have the earplugs. I just usually turn the TV up loud or the radio, but I can't do that now while I'm talking. It's sporadic. It's not consistent. if this gets stopped out. It's just really going to be annoying. You could you could keep it at the original stop, but what, you know, it, it's it if it goes up there, it's going to go over the high and flip. If this goes anywhere near this area, it's going to go green. It was a full on red and it's still red. If you keep the stop at 2005 or, or anywhere even 1995 or anything, anything even close to anything, 2010, 20, anything, anything over here, it's over the high. If you keep this over the high, it's going to flip and go green. When something opens and drops and goes red and flips and goes green, that's not a good sign. Certainly not a sign it's going to go back down in the low today. Here, this is holding. Time of the day is 9.53. Market's very bullish. I said today we have to do one quick trade and out. I just didn't press the button fast enough. Wow. Yes, it's very loud. Faye went down to the low and you had to get out of that. Quick exits today on all shorts but we're still in this, and that's the fact. All the news will, or all the noise will benefit me in the end because um, they, already, they already made me an offer to buy my apartment and gave me a huge discount off of it. They, I mean, I, I could buy this apartment right now from them and turn around and sell it and make a crap load of money. So all of the noise will be worth it in the end. I'm going to suck it up. <laughs> I've been complaining about it for months, but it's turning in my favor. Trust me. Oh, my God. Did I tell you people that the other day? The one upstairs that, that was the model unit, it was a four-bedroom. Here, maybe if we talk about something else, this will just drop. When I first, first looked at it, they wanted $4.8 Guess what they're selling it for now? If I had bought that, which I didn't, but guess what they're selling with that apartment for now? Just guess. Take a guess. Take a wild guess. Anything. Anything at all. Guess. $4.8 is what they wanted for it. 
in early 2015, so that was two years ago from now. <gasps> Sue got it. No, Galahad, I told you, they were selling it for 4.8 two years ago. They didn't lower the price. No, 4.8 is what they were asking for it in January of 2015. They did not lower the price. Two people got it right. Two people. Six million. If I bought that apartment for $4.8 million, I could sell it today for six million. It would probably take me nine months. They're having, they're having trouble selling them fast. They are selling them. They have nine in contract. Here, here, HBI. Let's keep talking about 6.8 million, 25 million. Let's keep talking about millions of dollars and it's going to drop. Anyways, the point is, can you believe that? If I had bought that apartment in January of 2015, I could sell it right now for $6 million. Who the heck cares if it takes me to September? I'd make $1.2 million minus whatever the costs are. But I'd, I'd, I'd net a million dollars. It's crazy. New York real estate is crazy. It's nuts, but it's all about timing. It's all about timing and location. Location, location, and timing and timing. Real estate, here, HBI. Come on, go. Under 45. Holy cow, it's nuts. Very crazy prices, but even more crazy of the increase in that time period. It's insane, but I love it. Here, under 45, this is a go. Who's still with it? Who killed it? It was very close to our stop, but not anything we needed to sweat a bullet. 66. Nope, it didn't break 45 yet. All right, let's go back to talking about apartments. <laughs> that was a good luck charm for about five seconds. 47's low. I need to be in the entertainment industry. Thanks, Sue. Are you gonna watch me on TV? So you're doing very well for a new student as well. Hindsight's always 2020. If I had known that I could sell that and flip it for a million dollars in two years, I mean, you could say this about a million things. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. I am in the entertainment industry. <laughs> oh my God, I'll tell you something else funny that happened. So yesterday, the, I had the door to my apartment a jar because the screen that I have, the plugs in the back are so heavy that the plug came out, then the screen didn't work. I couldn't get the plug in, I couldn't do it. The place that came out installed it should have secured the cords better. The weight of the cords pulled the plug out, so the screen didn't work. So I didn't have any TV and I didn't have the screen. And it's gotta be secured. So then I called the concierge and I called the handyman to come up. So I had the door jar and he came in. Then he fixed it. Then he had to go get duct tape. Then he came back, but I left the door open for him. Twice. Workmen opened up the door to come to my apartment. And I almost screamed bloody murder. And so then I had to go close the door. And the guy had to ring the bell again. Because they have all the apartments open on the whole floor because they're working all of them at the same time. That's why you hear all the noise. Here, HBI. See, talking, talking, talking helps us go. Anyways, I'm like... This is somebody lives here. This isn't under construction. Hello. So then I had to shut the door. The problem then would be where you live. For what? What would be the problem where I live? Where would I live if I sold this apartment? <sighs> if I sold this apartment, where would I live? That's a good question. HBI, where would I live? Yeah, where would I live? Here, beautiful, yay, yay, yay. Discipline dude is asking a question, hello? No, I wouldn't live in Texas. I would stay in New York, but it, you know, a shower singer saying, where would I go? It's a beautiful building. It's a beautiful building. It's a beautiful building, I don't wanna leave. Why do you think I'm stayed? 
Why do you think me and three other people are living here and the only ones? <laughs> um, you missed part of the apartment story. Did You did buy it. No, I didn't buy it. I could have bought it. I can buy it right now. They, I just got the papers. It came in a nice sealed gold envelope. And I knew exactly what it was because they actually sent me an email about it the previous night. And then I got this sophisticated thing. And I said, oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I'm outgrowing this apartment. I don't know where I'm going to be when Galahad comes next week. We might be here. We might be upstairs in front of the Empire State Building doing the, doing the room. But I'll tell you right now, I, I can't. I'm outgrowing this. I, I'm, I'm running out of space. This, I'm, I, I can't, there's nobody, if you came here and wanted to stay overnight with me, we'd be cramped. You couldn't, I'd have no room. I barely could fit your closet, in, your, your coat in my closet. You, if, you couldn't live here with me. No one could. There's no room. When the film crew comes, we're tripping over each other. It's, it, I mean, it's a, it's a huge one bedroom, but I, I have a lot of stuff and I, and it's just too small for more than one person. And I'm, I'm outgrowing it. So here, HBI. If I buy an apartment, I want a big, big apartment. And that probably will cost like $6 million. <laughs> so here we, here we go, HBI. So if I, if, where would I go? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to leave here. I don't think till I'm ready to buy. And I think this apartment's too small for me to buy for long term. So maybe I'll buy in the building. Maybe I'll buy the $6 million apartment, but not right now today. Maybe they'll let me buy the one upstairs for 4.8. <laughs> they gave me a discount of this one. Maybe they'll give me the original pricing of that one too. What do you think? <laughs> now there's an idea. It is hilarious because you know what? That apartment someday that they're selling now for six, that was 4.8, will probably be worth 10 million. It is, it's a full circle 360 view. You see the Empire State Building. You see, see the view I see from the river right here. You see the George Washington Bridge. You see Northwest. You see Uptown. You see the river all along the river. You see, you see every of every view from that apartment. And that's why it's, it's, it's $6 million. And it's four bedrooms. It's, it's, it's actually worth $6 million. Um, yeah. Seems fitting to live in Queens. You want me to move to Queens? Or do you live in Queens, Rumi? No, you don't. You don't live in Queens. You live in Canada, don't you? Who are you? I think you live in Canada, don't you? All right, is anybody still with this in this with me or are we waiting forever? Let's let's get a grip here. What are we doing? Are we going to kill this soon or what? Uh, the market has not made a new high yet, but it looks amazing. It looks really, really good. The target for the SPY today is the previous high, which it's trying to get up to, 229.71. Then we have the ones that we looked at today. Let's just go over all of them. GoPro worked. If you had it to short, you could have done it. How much could you have made? 30 cents. Not half bad when the stop was tight. You could have made more than two hours. It was a nice little tiny, tiny train that went and moved. I'm going to scream over the drilling. Faye worked. Where did this go? You could have made 30 cents on this or thereabouts, depending where you got out. That looks like this had a bounce in here, too. I don't know if the bounce was quick or slow. Deck was very, very hard. Did not do it, didn't call it, don't like the way it opened, hasn't gone anywhere, looks like a piece of crap, but is trying to break. It didn't rally. We're in this, it looks fine, it's set up now in every time frame, including the 15 minute it held, the lowered stop. I'm very happy about that. Let's look at some realistic targets for this now. If it does break the low, although I'm not saying I'm gonna hold it to there. You short it, Faye, in 1950? Okay, there you go. Just look. Does anyone have any questions about the whole week? How's everybody doing? I think everyone in here is doing good. Obi Wan Kenobi had one bad day where he was double the money and then he made it all back the next day. So I think everyone in here is doing good, aren't they? Let's just see. Galahad, you're coming next week.
Gotcha. I came up with a program that I'm going to do with him here uh, that I'm going to use for everybody except for it'll be more time with him than everybody the way I'm going to do it. I've decided like the first, if you come for a week, here I'll just tell you this now. The first day is going to be to go over the points. The second day is to be going to, going to be to go over the entries and your sizing. Day three is going to be able to go over any mental things you have going on with you. Any mind related issues about trading or money or anything you're happening. Day four is going to be about options, review options, if you're, if you're in doing any of the options or if you want to. If not, we'll do something different. And day five is going to be a catch-all, whatever you want to go over with with me. Galahad, you're going to be in a weekly program, but everybody else, that's what it will be. Here, HBI. See, if I talk about other things, it just drops. Good this week every day, yep. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you got a bad fill, we want to, I'm not worried about any of that. We lowered the stop. It don't don't worry about it. And look at what PBI did the other day. If you got a bad fill on that, look where it went. Don't worry about this. I only say that on the ones. If, first of all, you could kill some of it if you want to. If you're that concerned about a bad fill, just kill some of it. But I'm telling you that it doesn't matter in the end. I was five cents off of it. That's not a big deal. But I took it before it actually hit. I mean, I, I called the number, then I said, I just screamed, take it. If you're 30 cents off of something, that's a different story. I don't think anybody got a good feel on this today, but I don't, I don't think it's mattered in the end. It's just like PBI. But if you're concerned about it, then kill some. You, you're up positive here. You could have actually reshorted this here. I didn't, I didn't call that. Here it goes. Try to hold it, though, for still in an OB1. It's going to work. I mean, it is working. Any recommendations for a long or short for just today? What do you mean? In the afternoon, or what are you talking about? Now? If you didn't do GoPro, and you didn't do Fay, and you didn't do HBI, did you do nothing? Here, HBI. I don't know what, what anybody, why would anyone would want to do any other trades today? Why do you want to do anything else? What was the one long that Bralia was looking at? Uh, what was it? Here, I'll scroll up. What was the long you wanted me to look at? I said that it's not looking at any longs today, but the market was high. Oh, Gimo. I didn't go back and look at that. FT and T. Oh, look how long this is taking. You gotta be kidding me. Boy, you really gotta be patient if you don't get out in the morning. Wow, this flipped completely. I hope no one did it. I didn't have time to rate it. This looks fine. It's just gonna take longer. Here we are, it's 10.08. Market's very bullish which I did say in the room this morning. Not that I don't normally say that. FTNT, this, this held, this worked. I don't know if you could have made any money doing it. A very hard, look at this. Ay, 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 ay. I, this looks, I hope nobody did anything, but this looks dangerous. Did anyone do anything with that? Here, HBI. Hurry, hurry, hurry. What else can we talk about? I just want this to go.
If you have to go, you can get out of it. You're either break even up a little. No one should be down here. I, you know, if you've got to go, you got to go. I, I, you know, if you didn't get out of this early entry here, the first one or the second drop, and you got to go, just take it out. I mean, there's nothing you can do. You shouldn't be down though, really. It depends where you got it and where you got filled, but this did just drop down in here again into the 20s and it didn't break. We lower the stop, it held. It triggered here in the five minute, triggered on the two minute, triggered again on the one, triggered on the 15. Let's look at the 30. It's really funny to me how some people trade all day. I'd never have the patience ever again to do that in my life. It's just, you know, I don't even have the patience to hold something for an hour. Yeah, I'll look at Amazon now. I, I thought we were going to get out of this. I would like to get out of this. All right, we'll go over this while while we're waiting for this to drop. And just make sure, I, everybody now should have a stop in 1975, though, to be honest with you, in the HPI if we're still in it. Some of you get out of it once, twice. Some of you have to go. Some of you are in it with me. 1975, boom or bust. It's way too late. It's 10.15 almost. Um, Amazon, I really thought, would gap up. It did not. It dropped. It's holding the gap. You know it's holding the gap down so i don't know what to say i'm not i don't think you should buy this here but it's not a short i did not rate this gap today um i would not have shorted it 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 is not a short i don't think it goes red today it's not red it didn't go red at all today once this goes over this area here which i don't know when will happen it could be today it could be next week this probably has a big move it's right around here it's 18, 17, 18, 20, and it could happen today. This thing will have a jimongous day if it goes over that today, I'll tell you that. Here, this looks good. I, don't, you can't short this. I really thought it would gap up. It didn't. But that is why, as far as day trades go, you wait until it gaps and rate it, and if you do the options, you're doing them with the possibility that they may lose. And if they end up winning or working in your favor as an option, then it's a huge, huge trade. We did do that a couple times last year. This didn't work out. But it's not a short. It's a long. These are the kind of things that happen. And you say, well, look at this. It's just like Google. Uh, when was it Google? Was it last week? Yeah. Have to go and talk to you Monday. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Cayman Dude. Google. Remember, had the earnings. Had the earnings, had the big move, made a brand new all-time high, and then collapsed on the day. This was a gap up. Not a big gap up, not a gap up I would have gone long, but the stock closed here and gapped up and made a new high and then collapsed. You know, I mean, it's just like, really? So, you know, the bottom line is that, it, you know, sometimes these things do stuff like this. And that's what really gets upsetting to people because they reverse. I'm not telling you to buy this today. It did gap down. You could have rated it. I didn't. I don't think it would have rated well. It isn't a short. If anything, it's a long, but I wouldn't go long it because it did gap down. And it's, and it, and it's fighting with itself and it's not acting right. But there's nothing wrong with this stock. It's one of the strongest things in the market. If this rallies over 820 today, it's going to explode. But I'm, I mean, I'm not going to buy it here. It should have gapped up. It didn't. But do you see how this is holding incredibly, incredibly, incredibly strong? If this was any other thing other than Amazon, it would it would be at 760 by now. 780. 790 at the very least. But not Amazon. Look at it. It's holding in the sky.
Th that's the kind of thing that ver very well upsets people when something does the total opposite of what it should do and then gaps in the earnings and then actually does what it's supposed to do. But it doesn't hit the number then. It doesn't hit the target. There's no way this will get anywhere over the high here today. It very well probably could next week. Here, we have to watch our trade. I don't want to lower this stop anymore. I don't think it makes any sense to, but, you know. I just don't like the fact it's not keep going here. I don't know what to do. Let me just think a minute. I still think it goes back around. I just don't know how much longer I want to wait. Galahad killed it with profit or break even, or where did you kill it? Just now? Lost $73? Okay. So Rumi made, did Rumi make the most in this today? He made a thousand bucks? Was that in the first trade or the second trade, Rumi? Rumi said he made a thousand dollars in this today. I just want to know, is that the first trade or the second trade? Rumi, are you there? The second time I called it, you made a thousand bucks? I'm gonna fall asleep until this works. I don't I don't think there's any worse place we should move it. I don't think we should move it any any there's it really we can't. The first trade was the best because it was a dollar. Not from the entry, but from here, but I didn't have time to call it. You would have had to watch it and just press the button and take it. I was trying to give you the number and size myself in my head, not thinking it would hit and do that. I don't know how it filled people there. I didn't do it, but it, it this definitely was the best one because the move that it had and the length of the move and the strong of the move. Uh, we did get it again, but but and we but I missed the exit. I clearly missed the morning exit. It's still morning, but not really. 10.15, 10.17. Oh, you did the option in it. The options didn't open when you made the first call, when I made the first call in the open, okay. if I get out of this, it's going to keep working. Does anyone have any questions about the week while I'm sitting here? What did Deck end up doing? Nothing. GoPro's flipping now. This, this is the weakest thing. It had the big move. It's very, very weak. It had two good solid moves. Or we're waiting for the third one, which I typically don't do. I usually do get out of the first move. The second move, I, I just, I didn't react fast enough. Crap, I don't want this to keep going.
If you want to be really tight, you can put it over 66, but if it does a little tail thing over 66, then it could get taken out and it could go. We're still saving a full loss if it hits 75. Even if you got filled into the number, it sh it's still not a full one. It's 10, 20. I think I'm just going to stay with it. I'm just going to stay with it. I have the stop at 75. I'm just going to stay with it. What is everybody else going to do? Tell me what you're going to do. Because, I, you know, I don't, I don't know where this goes. And I'm thinking we just close out the room and I'm just going to play it out and put the stop at 75. I mean, I, I have it at 75. Just keep it there. Here. Crap. Hold on. Hanging in there, it is. It's not going to go back down again, though, without more selling. This is the whole thing. We talked about this in the one that didn't work. Was it Tuesday? Yeah, it was Tuesday. All the days are running together. Um, you have to have selling. They worked, Journey Woman. What happened? You didn't get out of that? Have a good weekend? We had a good week? Yes, we did. We did no matter what you do in this today. It shouldn't be a full loss if you have a stop at 75. Explain to me what you did with the Faye. Here, hold on. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to let it take me out if it hits 75. I don't want to keep it over the high. Do whatever you want. I made the decision to lower it. I, if, it if it hits 75 and takes me out and goes back down and drops, I, 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 I'm I just going to, I don't, leave it at 75. It's up to you if you want to keep it over the high. I'm not going to. It, this is one penny away. I don't think it should go near the high again. That's why. Such a good week. I don't. I, I just should have gotten out of that down there. Gosh darn it. Oh my God! I can't believe we're still in this. We could move it to eighty-five. Should we? Here. Let's move it to 85. 85, I just moved it. It's still less than the original stop. It don't don't do it if you don't want to. I just gave it 10 more cents, but it's still less than the original stop. It's it wants to hold. It looks like it wants to hold. I don't know if it's going to. If you want to keep it at 75, fine. I have to be here today. I have a webinar this afternoon. I can sit here and babysit this. It just stinks to get out of something with a loss that you were up in. I mean, we were up in this really not, and we were up in this all in here, and this looked great. I just moved it to 85. Here, let's just go over it. If, if you want to keep it at 75, though, you're still in it. Gosh, that noise is annoying. I absolutely would not give it any more room than 2005 for the stop if you absolutely want to give it all the room in the world, okay? Now, I just, I had moved it to 75. Now I decided to give it 10 more cents. So where are we at right now? Like right here. This taily thing here, we have it tight over the tail. I'm really, that's it. I really, really am not gonna change it. But this is still less of a loss if it fails than the original stop. And it looks like it wants to hold. It's, this isn't, this isn't flipping. I mean, it's just not getting sold off more. So it's up to you what you want to do. 
But this is now turning into a late morning, early afternoon trade. It's a lunchtime trade here now. What this has to do is completely set up again. This has to come on top of this. The 20 period moving average has to come down, has to hit again in the five minute, has to drop, break through in here and come all the way down and go, at, go in here. Anywhere in here, I'm just gonna take it. I don't know if this breaks the low anymore. But I moved it to 85 from 75 and if you don't wanna move it, then don't. Okay, you're still in it. Who, who's doing what? Who just moved the stop? Who's keeping it 75? Who has it over the high? Tell me and then we're just gonna call it a day here for the room and I'm gonna do other stuff and just have to watch it. It's hanging in there, yeah. It has to completely reset up on the five minute though. So this isn't gonna happen immediately now. At this point here, it looked great to go right back down and break the low. Once this started to rally here over the area and rally over the bar here in the 15 minute, now it's gonna wait and reset up completely again on the five, on the two, on the one, on the 15 minute, on the 30 minute chart, on the 60 minute chart. So it could take one hour, it could be two hours. Sometimes things move between 12 and one. So that's the problem here now. This is, this, 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 this looks like it's gonna go into work, wow. Wow, it even held 75. Oh, I'm glad I didn't kill it. Shower saying it moves is 1985. We'll get out in 1930. Hmm. Wow, look. It's breaking on the five. Okay, 2730 is the first target area in here. This is what Shower Singer's talking about. If you absolutely want to get out before it bounces again. I do think if it comes down here and breaks this, it will break the low, but I don't know if it does. So you can get out with whatever profit you can. Wow, this, this looks like it is gonna hold people by the hair of our skinny chin chins. Late, late, late move in this. Does anyone have any questions? It was a good week. It was a good week last week. We'll try to continue this. I wish I would have gotten out of this quick trade today. I did not, but bottom line is I may end up lucking out in the end. If you want to get out break even, you can put your stock wherever you got filled if you don't have the patience. If you want to wait till it comes here, put, put any, something out at 1930 you can. If you want to hold on, if you, if you have time to sit in front of the computer and babysit it, which I'm going to be babysitting it, you can. It's up to you. Chinchilla made $70 today. That's good. All right, good week, everybody. I'm going to let everybody go. I told you what I'm doing with this. Have a good weekend, okay? Have a great weekend. I will see you all Monday. Everyone is on the room for the list for the password, but there has been some problems with the server delivering them. So if you don't get the password by Sunday night, you can email me or Monday morning. And good luck in this. I'll do a video and put it somewhere on YouTube later. It may not be this, this afternoon after the webinar. But it looks great. I'm going to turn up the television loud and drown out the drilling and watch drop. <laughs> All right. Have a good weekend, everyone. You're welcome. Thanks. You're welcome.